What's good everybody, Mr. Knight KSB6 back again. This is my second discussion video. This one is going to be based on where the prices have raised on Nike products, um, Nike SB sneakers, Jordan sneakers. I'm mainly going to go into the whole Nike SB situation because that's mainly what I collect. Um, I'll mention some Jordans and stuff like that. We'll start off with the Jordans, being that it's going to be short and simple. 1988, Black Cement's released. I got that sneaker because it's an iconic sneaker. Um, the price was 100 bucks. As you can see now, as the times went, you know, I went from 125, they kept releasing. I think they released three, three times, maybe four times now. And um, just, just kept raising, raising, raising. Now it's around 160. So 2002, and the Raptors released, I believe, back then. And um, I think those were at 125 then. So to see them go from that to 160 is definitely out there and for their quality not to back that price up you know what I mean is definitely something that doesn't interest me in any way shape or form I'm not gonna buy a shoe that's you know doesn't hold up well and the price is just gonna keep on going high I really don't care if it's an iconic shoe uh, I don't care if all of you like it None of that makes a difference to me, even if it has memories for me as a child, you know, as a child growing up, getting the shoes. Um, the Red 4s that are coming out is pretty hard for me to pass on, but chances are I am going to pass on it just because I know that, you know, it's not worth the money that I'm going to spend. Um, enough battling on with that. That's the Jordan prices. Now we'll go to Nike SBs. Nike SBs released the first uh, ever Nike SB sneaker, which is the Danny Super Lows. These retailed for 65 bucks. We're gonna go to a Wheat High, which released for 75 bucks. So they go to your Dunk Low and your Dunk High 2002. As the years went by, Silver Box released on sneakers that I have on. Stood the same price, 75 bucks. Not much year, you know, there wasn't much time difference, so I guess that's why it stood around the same price. And at the same time, they were still new to the whole skateboard scene, I guess you could say, even though they started getting hyped up sneakers or whatever. Heineken, 65 bucks. Um, Uncles, released in 2004, those stood at 75 bucks on release. Um, these, 65 bucks, Reese for Hunters. And um, as you keep going, it makes its way to the black and purple boxes, and you can see the price start raising. Black and purple. This is a premium dunk low. This went for 70 bucks box price. So it went from 60 to 70. As you can see, on this shoe, I actually got for a steel price at 40 dead stock. And um, it just shows you that you don't have to pay Nike that price that they want. Just because they want 70 bucks doesn't mean that you have to pay that price. Patience with sneakers is the best thing that you can do because you can get them for a steel price. That goes for these as well. Pay below box on these. And these are 90 bucks. So how you going from 75 to 90 with these now? With the duck highs. You know, it's definitely out there. But um, besides that, you know, we go to the Gold Series. Premium. 90 bucks. So now we went from 70 to 90 on a duck close. These aren't premium. This is the Dunk Low Pro. The 78 bucks, I want to say. 78 bucks for these. These are another shoe. I got these for 40 dead stock. And I'm sure a lot of people got steals on these. But, um, you know, great quality shoe. But you don't have to give Nike that price that they want. You have a little patience and fold up, you know, fold up, hold back. You can get these for a deal. So now a lot of people cocked, and boom, what happens? On sale they go. So 78 price kept raising, um, we work our way to the J-Packs, which is a Dunk Low Pro, now they're at 83 bucks, blue box series. So now I went from 78 to 83, price keeps raising, kids keep paying, so why not raise the price? You have a um, Dunk Low Premium, why not, let's keep raising the price, 98 bucks. Now. The shoe is great. I love the shoe. I love the little details on the shoe, you know, with the tag and, and the shrimp in the corner. But, you know, to go from, I mean, I thought 83 was fine, to be honest with you. 
and you know you can see the price keep raising now we go to the the new box series which is this the cardboard in the box I personally feel like maybe they up the price because of this little bag to 125 so Nike if this is the reason why the price is 125 here you can have the bag I really don't need it the sneakers are fine give me back some of that money I mean, 125 I think that's just ridiculous. I'll stick with $98 for that. You know what I mean? I mean, 65 to go from 65 to 125 now what are we doing? We're doing Jordan prices on a skate shoe? Just, the only thing is, I cop it because towards the end, it's retail. Towards the end, I'm a collector. And most of all, I know the shoe will hold up. I'm grateful enough to have the money to be able to buy these sneakers to fulfill the passion that I have and, and the addiction that I have and be able to cop these sneakers. But some of you ain't, you know, some of you don't have a good job or some of you, you know, hustling to get a couple of dollars to be able to buy a sneaker. Some of you share the same passion as me, but you don't have enough money to buy it. You know what I mean? And, and there's shoes out there that I really don't even have enough money to buy. I would like to, but I gotta hold off on some of them, you know? But this is just a shoe that shouldn't go for one makes no sense um let's go to these premiums that just recently dropped when these came out i didn't get to get them when they came out on release day my boy hooked me up a little maybe two weeks afterwards for retail this shoe if i wouldn't have been able to get for retail i would not have copied any new release that comes out that i can't get for box price won't be mine and it won't be in my collection older shoes is different older shoes sometimes i guess you have no choice and, and even though you have no, you, you, we all have a choice, but nowadays you gotta pay the price for it. But I'll tell you one thing, I make sure that I get the best possible deal that I can get. And I search and I be patient and I get them eventually, but I get them at the best possible deal because I won't get overpriced. But um, what's your thoughts? How do you feel about it? Would you pay this much for a skate shoe? Do you think it's getting overpriced now? You think they're gonna just keep going higher? Um, just give me some feedback, let me know. I wanna know your input, I wanna know your thoughts about this situation. Um, thumbs up, subscribe, comment. We got plenty more discussion videos coming. Um, there's a lot of topics that I wanna get to and I wanna hear your feedback and I wanna touch base on. So stay tuned and um, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Peace, 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 peace.